Well, hello, Bumblebee, and thank you so much for being here today in one more episode on this YouTube channel, podcast, Cafecito with Vivi. I am your host, Vivi, and today's episode, I have part two on money mindset, manifestation, and mindfulness. I have to re-record this because I kind of did something wrong with the editing on the first one, so ended up... Um, kind of like, okay, I'm going to have to to do this again <laughs> and we have to uh, re-record this, uh, this episode. But uh, without further ado, let's continue today. I actually, I'm going to, to bring you the part two and it's about manifesting money and how that's connect with the money mindset. But before we start, if you could please subscribe to my channel and ring the notification to receive alerts when a new episode is posted. And if you are listening on my podcast, please follow and leave me an honest review. I will truly appreciate it. And thank you. So before I start uh, with this second topic, let's just recap on the last episode on money mindset, what it is and why it's important. So as I mentioned uh, before, money mindset refers to your deep beliefs about any topic. In this case, we're gonna talk money, right? So we have four different types of money mindset and I actually put them together in a, in a graphic and I'm gonna show it to you. So on um, this graphic, imagine that we have column a and b and then we have line one and two so the four types are the um in a1 we have abundance abundance mindset and we also have on a we have on line two we have the grow mindset and these two are connected to manifesting in a conscious level so that's when you okay so if i think like this you can actually change your your reality and um, in column B, we have the scarcity and the fixed um, um, mindset, which is comes from the subconscious, whatever is already deep in our beliefs. And, and we are, uh, without actually thinking, everything that we see in our reality is coming from this type of mindset. So, um, so obviously, this has nothing to do with the amount of money that you make. This is more about what you feel and what do you react to um, when it comes to, to money, right? Because you can have a lot of money and still think in scarcity, still living in fear. And, and you know, um, I have known people who, who makes 100,000 a month and they still think in a, a scarcity mindset, in a fear mindset. And... They're still thinking, uh, should I buy that? Can I afford it? Even though they're, you know, making a six-figure income a month. So they're still living on that mentality. So this is really nothing to do with the amount of money that you make, but mostly on the things that you do and, you, and how you react around money. So I also provided the five reasons why it's important and five ways to improve our money mindset in a more positive one, right? So you might ask, but what does money mindset have to do with manifesting money, right? And that's why this time in the graphic, I actually put it uh, down here. But uh, well, manifesting is about the reflection that you see in your current reality. So what do you currently see? Whatever you see is directly influenced by your identity. And that identity comes from your core beliefs, right? Your money mindset. So everyone manifests. Everyone does it. This is not, oh, these people does it better. This No, it's just that we are at different levels. So we all manifest. So people who worry a lot are powerful manifestors. And they just might not see it to their advantage. Because, you know, they're not still understanding that um, they, that that's where their focus goes. So, so they're focusing on, on, that, on that something and they're worrying about it. So whatever the reason they're worried for, they're focusing on that. So, um, so that representation is going to come more into the reality. And so therefore, that's why they're powerful manifestors, because it really comes down to what they focus the, the most. 
So uh, talking about manifesting, uh, there are two natural laws that I'm going to be seeing here today. And one of them is the law of attraction and the law of vibration. There are many, many other laws. And most commonly, if you Google it, you're going to find 12, but there are more than that. Uh, but just for the purpose of this episode, I'm just going to bring these two to this topic uh, so I can explain you this about the manifesting process. So the law of attraction states, likes attract, attracts like. And you might say, wait a minute, baby. <laughs> I do not like being broke. So how come I am still or still attracting things that makes me more broke every time? Okay, so let me tell you, the subconscious mind does not understand about what do you like or what you don't like, but what is important to you. And how does the subconscious know, subconscious mind knows what is important to you is because you are focusing on that specific thing, right? So if you are focusing on lack, right? Your money mindset and scarcity, you are focusing on that. Um, you only focusing on that scarcity and that fixed mindset. Therefore, more experiences will come to you that attract those things. So let's talk about the way we speak normally. Um, I still there are things that I still talk like that and I have to come back to myself on the way I speak. And sometimes even my son kind of reminds me that. <laughs> but uh, the more you speak about something, like for example, oh my gosh, I can't afford this. I am so broke. As soon as I get paid, I can't keep anything and all goes to expenses. So you are speaking in words that your subconscious understand, um, oh, Okay, I see. This is important for you. Not a foreign thing. Got you. Oh, you're broke. Got you. That is your core identity. So that's who you are. So therefore, you manifesting extra expenses or unexpected bills. And the more you speak on those terms, the more will show. Especially if you add feelings into these words or when uh, the feelings are similar to situations that are not money related, but maybe family related. Like maybe you have teens, right? And you know teens, they come up with strange words that is just kind of hard to keep up, right? And then you ended up saying, oh my gosh, I hate the way they speak. God darn it. Now they kids, the way they speak. It might not be related to money, but is related to family and your core belief, right? You have a core belief that family is important to you. It is in core, it's in your core belief. So you have those feelings about, oh, I hate the way you speak. So that feeling is similar to something about that um, uh, because it's, it's attached to your core belief. So whenever you um you see something related for example someone asks you so why do you work oh well i need to pay the bills i need to provide for my family right you say those things because your core belief is that and then you're saying i hate the way they speak oh okay so hate way to speak got it more things and you're speaking more of this even if you don't say the word hate around um being broke right uh, even if you don't say it, but because it is your core belief. So you see that connection on how when we speak about things that are kids that we dislike, they do. So you can actually say, I dislike it, but let me see how I can, I can change that story to make me feel better because I'm not going to change them. I can only change how I think and how I react to those things that they do that I don't like, right? So uh, also, you see the connection in here, why uh, it, it is important to for us to not say things like, oh, I hate when my kids do this. Oh, I hate when uh, my 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 co-parent or, or my partner or whatever, right? Because it's in our core belief already and it's important. So it is all related to each other. To, so 
um, speaking of this, I'm actually going to bring now the law of attraction because every thought, the law of uh, uh, vibration, I'm sorry, the law of vibration. I said attraction, right? I'm sorry. I meant the law of vibration. So because it is states that every thought, feeling, and action has its own frequency. So pay attention to the words you speak and the motion that you pay into the words that you are saying because it creates energy. And since the emotions are energy in motion, this energy in motion is what it creates, the frequency. And this frequency is the level that we vibrate around anything in our lives. So we all are created with, you know, uh, we all have um, atoms and the atoms that vibrate. So th so that's what it comes into physically. So that's what we see. We see our phone. So in, in reality, it's a bunch of atoms vibrating at a certain frequency. So that's why we're able to touch it, right? So these emotions that we say is what it creates that, that uh, vibrational frequency, right? So this frequency, like, like I mentioned, it does create the reality that we live in. So it's important to try to exercise more words of love, caring, joy, practicing gratitude, forgiveness. And when we speak affirmations, right? When we found an affirmation that that affirmation actually feels good for me. If, if you don't make your own affirmation, that's, that's okay. As long as the affirmation that you found feels good for you. And when you repeat them out loud, it makes uh, you make the feeling you dance to that uh, that affirmation you feel the excitement right when you make those feelings in, into your so that's when uh, it, it, you start creating a different vibration so if at some point you feel emotions like hate anger envy do not judge these emotions either it's not like oh i shouldn't feel that i should feel more positive so i can attract better things no um, you should actually be the gentle observant for these emotions, take a step back and analyze why they are coming to you. Let me tell you, this is so hard for me to do because I am, <laughs> and I saw it, uh, with, um, um, a lady that she helps you, uh, with your, with your emotions, right? Um, I do get triggered a lot. <laughs> so it's <laughs> something that I i i am so working hard on it like trying to see why is it coming like that right um but i do get <laughs> triggered a lot so um so this is something that i'm actually doing right now so right how can i change these emotions around like if i feel this trigger in this um hate anger envy or whatever other emotion right normally is angry like for me, angry mostly. Um, so how can I change them around? Or how can you change that around? How, how can you turn that into a, a more positive uh, type of feeling, right? And then practice uh, forgiveness. Just because you're feeling it doesn't mean that you are a bad person. So, and then you start like telling yourself things that are out of hate as well, or like are an, that are not lovely or caring words to yourself, right? So you you start practicing forgiveness to yourself and practicing forgiveness for others as well. I always tell my kids that forgiveness is not for you. Uh, I mean, it's not for the other person that you are working on forgiveness. It is for you. And the forgiveness does not mean that you have to talk to the person that hurt you in order to practice forgiveness. You can always just... Um, do like a, uh, a a prayer forgiveness and you are like in in the presence with that higher power and in my case it's god jesus and i practice that forgiveness is what is called energetical forgiveness very energetic forgiveness um you don't have to be sitting with that person you don't have to hug that person you don't have to sing kumbaya with that person in order to practice forgiveness but you definitely it's a practice that you must uh, do as well. And it's basically because gratitude and forgiveness are the highest vibration frequency. 
and that you can use to manifest the type of financial life that you desire or anything else, right? But since I'm talking money, so the money that you desire. So practicing this gratitude and forgiveness is really going to put you in that higher uh, vibration frequency. So that is it for today. I hope you have liked this episode and I am excited to see you next week for the next episode. And if you really like this one, please share it with a friend and tag me on Instagram. And remember to follow me at Mindful Tasks Academy. And if you would like to send me, a, if you don't want to comment in the YouTube video or the podcast, but you would like to send me a message, you can do it at the DM on Instagram, or you can uh, send it to my email, hello at mindfultaskacademy.com. So thank you so much for being here. And remember, it's a baby thing you wouldn't understand. Bye.